Okay, next we're going to be looking at Roughwear's new front range harness. This is a very comfortable, very fashionable, great everyday use harness. And we'll run through some of the features as we try the harness on. With Sydney, who's going to help us. Hop. Yay, good boy, Sid. Good boy. Okay, let's run through some of the features of the harness. The harness has two attachment points. The aluminium lightweight, nice chunky V-ring and also an attachment on the front of the harness as well. So the front attachment is really useful um, if you're training your dog and pulling across the dog's chest with the lead will discourage the dog from pulling. So this harness has a padded chest area. So we're going to get a really good load dispersal of Sydney's weight throughout the harness. And we're going to be able to get a very personalised fit because we have four points of adjustment across the harness as well. The first thing we need to do is to measure our dog to see which size harness we're going to need. And the easiest way to do that is with a tailor's tape. Or if you don't have a tailor's tape, use a piece of string and then just measure that against a measuring tape. And I'm going to use a little treat to get Sydney to stand up. Good boy, Sydney. And then I'm measuring around the widest part of Sydney's chest. And from that, I can see that Sydney is 61 centimeters, 24 inches. And if we check those measurements against the sizing chart, we can see that Sydney is a small. And that's what we've got here to try on him today. So once we've measured the dog and we think we have the right size harness for him, the next step is to make sure we get the perfect fit. And to do that, we need to open the harness out fully, loosen off all of the straps, and then using the four points of adjustment, slowly fit the harness to Sydney so that we get the perfect fit. If we look at the harness there, it does look quite small with all of the straps on their tightest point. But once you've fitted the dog, you're never gonna have to use, use the straps again. So when fitting the harness onto the dog, we want to be approaching the dog from the side, as I am here with Sid. I've got Sid on my side. He's nice and relaxed. I'm using treats to make sure that the whole fitting and wearing of the harness is going to be a pleasurable experience for Sydney. Make sure you use a tasty treat, something that your dog really, really likes, that he's going to think of as being a special treat. And then once we've got the dog calm and relaxed, and we've opened out the harness, we can begin the fitting. Head in, good boy, Sydney, good boy. Straps go underneath. So, there we have it. Sydney has a perfect fit with the four points of adjustment. Uh, let's run through a couple of the, the, the other features. We've already mentioned the aluminium V-ring and the, the front point of attachment as well to help uh, with the dog pulling. The harness also has a reflective trim right across it. Comes in four groovy colors. And a great feature for a harness is this one has a ID pocket to keep the dog's ID in, or a spare ID if your dog wasn't wearing a collar, goes in the back here. So there we go. A great, comfortable, safe, everyday harness. Well done, Sim. well done.